face of Barcelona's rebuild for 2019-20 in a away to Athletic Bilbao. That's not an easy fixture. The favourites, of course, in Spain nonetheless, as they seek a third straight Lalis. Keep their places with Luis Suarez and the aforementioned Antoine Griezmann. Up front, though, a more familiar look. Calejon, Insigne and Mertens, they can be mad. Insigne captains Napoli here this evening. It's completely, I must say, first night against Arsenal, beaten by a fine Aubameyang strike in the first half. Needs to do a little better here. And it is an Insigne and Mertens. When they're on song, their movement is a different class. And could be a test for Barcelona tonight, I think. Oh, it will be, especially in the first half when you've got inexperienced players in the park. But as I say, we need to find out. Jose Callejon is one of those players. Technically, he's very good. But this Barcelona side should know him very well. The transfer window comes. So many clubs want to buy him. But Napoli hope to keep him. And here, the front three start to move. Oh, that's very... <laughs> Opportunistic. I think he was going for goal. He saw the goalkeeper net to off his line slightly and into this game perhaps. Not so Griezmann. Break through the first line. And very steadily defended by young Di Lorenzo in that right back position. Barcelona threatening for the mm. first time. Well, brilliant play from Mitch. All the way to the back post, and that's one of the trademarks of Suarez. Second one. Griezmann had more time than Suarez. Well, two chances. Well, not great chances, but half chances. Suarez, I I'm surprised. Elmas, Jerry, and he's started well tonight. Here's Fabian Ruiz. Oh. Again, he switches rather than hits it first time. Neto didn't catch it cleanly, but parried it down safely. Well, it was well within his reach, and he, he was up. There he is, Ernesto. He'll be looking forward to Friday week, going back to his old. We haven't got long enough to give you the... Rakitic with room. Suarez made the forward move and Griezmann dropping short onto it. That's what he's so good at. And he found the range that time. And then won 2-0 against Vissel Kobe. Suarez goes on. Oh. Everybody in the ground thought Griezmann was offside there, Jerry. Well, he timed his run brilliant and he does this all the time. He knows the ball's coming now. Watch. As the pass is made, you can see he's half the yard behind. Kalejon strides on. Insigne Insigne went on yeah. and Neto had to make a save it was a very good one brilliant piece of play and a brilliant save and he wasn't offside there was caught out this time and Tobedo had to get across but they've got a man over on the other side Napoli Mario Rui arrived he didn't want to hit it and that would have gone wide in the end Neto grabbed it well first thing I can see Paul is this young defence is getting dragged all over the place and they had not one but two players over on state night who you've got like 40 degrees temperature during the day and then at night time you just sweat so you, you need to drink loads and loads and as a 17 year old he came off the bench and you just knew he was special you know Rob Palmer and I watched that game and we didn't know who this guy was before it's one of the few now few remaining links Jerry with that glorious side you spoke about six seven years ago now Wage sits it up but that was to take a touch he had to hit it first time and it was too close to the goalkeeper and an easy tip. but um, here's one of the new boys Perez that's a straightforward save and it's another wild swipe that was worse than the earlier one it certainly was well done Perez coming inside on the left foot Perez found a little bit of room again here's Wage crowd got excited but it wasn't a tester for Napoli well Rakitic got himself in the box and he got a head on it but couldn't direct it on target Ruiz oh, Calejon's in must be oh it's steered around the post rather than in by Mertens another great example of what this trio for Napoli could produce up there but he couldn't finish it off and by Puig as they try to pick it up Luis Suarez looking for Griezmann wow almost a lovely combination there the timing of the run from Signe promising moments for Napoli Kalejan off his side Mertens oh. great move no end product oh listen Paul some of the football's great here you know the pass and Saxon and they're missing up Wage Suarez Wage shows some enterprise from right back 
Well, the crowd got excited. Merritt just left it. Well, it wasn't bad, I have to say. He's played the one-two. He did. Merritt tries to push it. Puig. Busquets. And he finds the bottom corner and Barcelona lead. Merritt couldn't keep it out. He doesn't score many goals, Sergio Busquets, but he is, without a doubt, one of the best passers of a football in world football. And when he gets the ball on the edge of the day, he's not thinking about shooting, he's thinking about passing it into the back of the net and he finds the bottom right-hand corner. That's what he does. And again, you don't have... Insigne's in. That was a good, excellent block. Well, where was Wage? I have to ask the question. It's happened two or three times. And camera's going to because he should not. And see. Mahon goes. Pupo nearly got caught out. He did get caught out. Oh, it's 1 1. There's a little touch from a Barca man, but it's a classic Napoli leveller. Well, do you know what? Callejon has been absolutely brilliant on that right hand side, and they did deserve a goal. They probably should have scored first. And it will be an own goal, I'm sure. But listen, Napoli are very worthy of that equaliser. Excellent build up, and this time they get a bit of good fortune. Jose Callejon times his run. Look at that. And the first touch, brilliant. Coming inside, opens the angle up, and then the defender. Um, Titi, it, it was. Is, it is Um Titi. Oh, what's for Um Titi again? I'm not sure how good a shot that ultimately was from Fabian Ruiz. It's a fit. Suarez gets to it. Carlos Perez made a move toward the penalty spot. Suarez in the end went on his own. It's funny when you don't have... The new man at right back, young Di Lorenzo, for Napoli tonight. Slightly done better. Napoli looked to break quickly. Here we go, Mertens. Goalkeeper's got to get there. Neto did well, very well. Well, he's been their best player for me in the first half. Neto, he's made some way again by Barca. Fabian Ruiz, nice reverse. Just a little bit of showboating by Insigne, and Neto gives him a look and says, I'm a bit better than that, son. You'll have to do better to beat me. Well, he looked as if... Okay. Into the box he goes, superbly. And twice over, Merritt gets in to deny Abel Ruiz. Excellent play. Do you know what? That's more like it. It's flowing, it's counter... Rakitic. Here is Rafinha. Okay. High, wide, and none too handsome. Angle was tight. That's a bit more like it. Ball moving around a bit quicker for Barcelona. Rakitic has gone up a gear. He hits this one himself. That wasn't missing by much. This is more like Fendi's Barcelona. Controlling the game. They're passing the movements much, much better. Uh, you, you, you made a good comment from him either. Here's Ruiz. Nice touches. Slow, shot a little bit too slow, but not that one. And it's crashed into the net. To give Barca a 2-1 lead and Rakitic was the man. Well, you think of the shots in the first half from Luis Suarez on the edge of the box, but look at the finish here from Rakitic. Knee over the top of the ball, which means it's not going to go high, and it was a definitive...